back again. You already know. By now, this is old hat. I got something to say about something. Otherwise, it ain't nothing to be said at all. I'm tired of saying the same thing about the something that I'm finna be talking about, though, you know? So a 13-year-old, I think he, I think he's Spanish, Hispanic, Latino, whatever, a young man, out in the wee hours of the morning, regardless of the fact that apparently he was with a, an adult that couldn't have been up to nothing, nothing good, so he was delinquent, clearly. But he didn't die in Chicago. This is just happened in Chicago. And, of course, officers of the law, if that's what you want to call it, I like to say officers of lawlessness. Okay. Uh. All right. At, at uh, fault. Okay. And, again, you have to hold yourself to a higher standard. So I don't want to hear what the assailant or whatever you were chasing after did or did not do. What did you do or not do? That's what I want to know. Now they're running down like some sort of alley or whatever. <clears throat> they come up on him. Now mind you, his body camera footage, is, you know, they got the body cameras now and his happened to be on. Good. Wonderful. At least, at least the body cam was working. Unfortunately, you know, you see... Something you don't want to see from that body cam footage that they, you know, spread around all over the internet and the news and everywhere and whatnot. The boy stops. He done, he done tossed a little handgun. He done tossed his weapon. Okay, so the weapon ain't a threat no more because he done tossed it. And you see it, the last thing you really see is the boy with both his hands up. The last thing I pretty much see is ain't nothing in his hands. The officer still shot him, and it was a fatal shot. Killed the boy. Now, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. And at the end of the day, human is human. So, I mean, I know the African-American men, the black boys, and men, I know they get it real hard. They get the hammer put down on them. It's always one of them uh, perishing at the hands of law enforcement. But, uh, we had the Latino boy this time, 13, 13, didn't even make it to adulthood, didn't make it, that's a damn shame, and all this same old shit, but different year, you know, I thought 2021 was gonna be better than 2020, I really did, I had my hopes pretty sky high, okay. Now, I'm looking at the news and trying not to look at it at the same time. You just kind of, sometimes you can't help it. You walk in on the TV that's on and just overhear the, you know, the news broadcast and have to stop in your tracks. And that was one of them. Overheard wasn't even in my place of residency. I was at somebody else's house when I heard about what happened to this young boy. First of all, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this, and I understand it, and I didn't when I was a kid, but I know it now as an adult. So adults, don't be afraid to reign supreme over the child, because the child don't know until they make it to adulthood. They got to make it there first. And who's ever 13-year-old this was, should have been his ass in bed, sleep, and how at, safe at home, safe and sound. This should not have been a news story. I don't know what is going on in that particular family. The whatever dysfunction is is causing them to stray wayward to be out on the street that damn late at 13. 13, all right? You can't even say 16. You ain't even said 18. He's a 13-year-old boy. And when did he just turn? Did he just celebrate the birthday? Or was he close to 14? What? We don't know. But the children and teenagers, listen, be where you are. Be thankful and grateful for your space and your place. 
stop trying to get to a future place presently. In other words, don't be in a hurry to be getting grown, you know. Don't be in a hurry to become an adult and do them and make them and go ahead and make the stupid decisions because adults have the choice one way or the other to make the stupid decision. But pour into yourself the proper uh, etiquette, the proper protocol, the proper way of life, uh, proper morality, everything. Pour that in now as a child. Nod your head, buck up a little bit against your parents, but pray you got good parents. Because a foot would have been up my ass. 13 years old. Probably would have had a search party out for me, not even unbeknownst to me. They'd have come looking for me. And I'm pretty sure I would have been saved by the grace of God because my parents or my father or grandfather or somebody in the family, aunt, would have got a hold of me. And, and brought me to safety before all of that went down. Oh, yeah, I'd have got my ass handed to me, but I'd still be alive. That's back in the day. That's, that's when the village was real active. Ain't no child supposed to be out late, let alone be being chased by the police. Let alone chucking a handgun because he had a handgun, and for what reason, uh, the damned if I know. But it just seems just too ridiculous now. It's too much going on now. Too much. Too much. We got to get it together. How are we in the middle? I don't understand why we in the middle of a pandemic and can't nobody air towards some common sense. Can't nobody air towards logic, sensibility. Can't nobody air towards uh, intelligence versus ignorance. I don't understand. I don't understand. We in the middle of a pandemic and the officers of the law shooting up any and everything moving, basically. Okay. Protest. So that's bringing more people out. That's gathering. You do know that's gathering, right? In close quarters, right? Because you're marching together, you're standing, you're gathering together. And at some point, you got to let your nostrils or something come out so you can breathe, right? Okay, at that damn open air at that point, because now you you in too close a proximity to other people that you don't even live with. That ain't even your kinfolk. Barely your skinfolk, let alone kinfolk. But you out there. I don't understand. Then they want to talk about, oh, vaccine, vaccine, everybody get the vaccine. Uh, remember when, and I live in Michigan, so remember when Michigan... Had good numbers when the when before we had the vaccine. Remember when Michiganders, Michigan easiers, <laughs> Michigan Michiganers. <laughs> now I'm kidding. Remember people from Michigan was actually doing pretty much for the most part what they were supposed to do in majority form. Remember that. Now all of a sudden we one of the highest in the nation for for COVID cases again. Uh, this, this is what we're doing. I thought it was going to be better this year. I swear I thought 2021 was going to be better than 2020. I'm coming up on the birthday. Earth Day birthday. Or a roundabout Earth Day birthday. I just don't understand. Uh, I just thank God for another year of life. But uh, I really thought this year was going to be a better year than last year. Because 2020 wasn't funny. And 2021 don't look like it's much fun. uh uh-uh. But no, that don't make no damn sense. Your baby's is getting shot in the street. That's telling you something. That's telling you something. And if you got to stay in guard at their bedroom door, if you got to bar the windows, make sure they ain't sneaking out at night, and you love your kids, you do what you can to protect your kids, real talk. You don't just throw your hands up and give up. Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. You don't do that. Where they do that at? Well, they must do that a lot of places, apparently. But I don't know the whole story behind how he ended up in that situation. But my heart goes out to the family because, you know, you're suffering a loss. And that right there, we don't know. We don't know the uh, potential of that child. We don't know what he could have become as an adult. So, listen, don't feel bad if you got to be a little hard on your kids. 
Remind them of their place. Remind them. Tell them to appreciate their place. And as an adult, tap into your inner kid. Okay? Maybe don't just do because you're tired. Go down in the basement and go play. Go in the playroom. Go outside and play. They still need guidance. I know that I know we the playologists from back in the day. We did all kinds of play that was legitimate play that people didn't look at us and go, what the, what the hell is some kids doing? That don't even make no sense. You actually saw kind of logical play going on. Like it was like, oh, they're on to something. But if you want to help your kids, be involved with your kids. Appreciate that child energy. Embrace it. Because you need it, hell, just to handle adulthood. I don't know where I wouldn't be. Where would I be? Excuse me. I don't know where would I be if I didn't deal with children and love children and act childish sometimes. I don't know where would I be because this grown folk thing is a, is a trip and a half. It's a journey. It's ridiculous. It's a pilgrimage. It's long and arduous. And sometimes you just Back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore, but some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. That's all I got to say. Get off this camera. But look here, police. Y'all gonna have to get it together. Y'all doing too much. You're showing your horns. You are showing your horns. Okay. Hmm.